Hi guys, so today is the 6th day of April in the year 2020. So today we want to look at quickly, CXC released a timetable, a draft of the 2020 timetable. We are going to have first impressions of that timetable. We're going to try to predict what might be the exams based on the timetable that CXC has released. And also, we are going to also try to preempt the actual exams. Good. So let's go into it. As we know, the 2020 CXC exams, both the CSEC exams and the CAPE exams, have been halted in their normal stead, in their normal format, as a result of the pandemic COVID-19. COVID-19 is a serious threat to global health, and as a result, many of our schools, in fact, all of our schools should be closed as a result of that pandemic. So students are not going to school, teachers are not going to school, they're at home. I know many teachers, including myself, have um, started online classes, so as much as to not disrupt the schedule in completion of the syllabus and all of that. But despite all attempts, there must be difference in the exams 2020 compared to all the other years. So what what is happening? Well, as we know, CXC released a press release, I think it was about two weeks ago, or thereabouts, and they claimed that in 2020, we will not have business as usual. The exams would not take on the traditional format, paper one, paper two, paper three, or your SBA. It will now take a new format where they are going to release grades and they're going to claim, they're claiming that these grades are valid grades and they're releasing those grades after paper one assessments as well as looking at the SBAs. So we're using SBAs and paper one. And that seems to be written in stone, despite all the intellectual ramblings from some people like uh, the education unions, the teachers union in Guyana and in Barbados. Despite all the, uh, the, the intellectual ramblings, CXC doesn't seem to be changing their mind. They are going to go ahead with their paper one and their SBA. That's one thing I don't like about CXC, to be quite frank. If you have major stakeholders in this thing, and your stakeholders, they are claiming they, they do not like what you are doing, obviously you are going to try as much as possible to appease your stakeholders. What are you doing to make sure that their concerns are addressed? CXC has been doing a, a terrible job of that. We haven't seen responsibility on CXC's path for a very long time where they are going to have this kind of approach where they communicate, where they receive feedback from persons who are involved. And if you do happen to put that feedback out there in print or on social media, CXC seems to be unbothered. It's like an unbothered challenge. They seem to not be bothered much by what people think. So it seems as though it's written in stone. It is written in stone. CXC will, will go ahead and they will do SBA and paper one. So we have to get over whatever we, we thought of that process. Right? If you don't like it, you have to deal with it. If you like it, good for you. So why might some people like it? Well, some people just want to get the exam over with. People want to have their grades. People want to move on with their life and forget about CXE. Some people really want to have a challenge in their exams. They want to make sure whatever grade they get is actually a grade that they work for. And some people think that the multiple choice exam is not going to be a reflection of how much work they would have put in. So it wouldn't be an adequate reflection of how much they have learned over the years. Uh, fair enough. We have our own opinions. CXC doesn't seem to care about our opinions. And they're going ahead with SBA and uh, Paper 1. So CXC released today 
a draft of their timetable. Let's go and look at that draft and have a digest of that draft. So here we have that key to the timetable released by CXC. I'm going to put a link in the description there for you to download and study this as much as you want to, or pace up on your room and prepare for your exam following this. So what we are seeing here, first of all, I'm going to look at English A and English B because I particularly deal with those. What we are seeing here for those exams is that there is no deviation, there is absolutely no deviation from the normal time frame that is allotted to these exams. So normally, from all the years before 2020, there was one hour and 30 minutes put aside for paper one. We are seeing that same thing happening in 2020. In English B, we are seeing the same normal two hours for that paper one. All right. So what does that lead us to surmise? Well, we can take it to mean this. We can take it to mean that CXC is not going to change the format. When I say change the format, CXC is not going to change the kind of questions that we are accustomed to. It will be the same six kind of multiple choice questions, the same testing that they have done over the years, and it will be pretty much... A reflection of what we have had over the years. That is how it appears right now. All right. So where does that leave us? I'll tell you where it leaves the students of English B, for instance. CXC has not really been CXC with this two hours will not be testing much. And that will be a downside for persons who are doing literature and persons who are doing English A as well. Many of you would hope to write your stories and to do well and help you get up to a grade one. The multiple choice might actually be harder if you are not previewed to the question to handle alone. All right, that's one of my take of it. So we'll have some problems with that. If you've seen the question before and it seems as though CXC might be using back questions, don't quote me on that. It seems though, because if the timings remain the same, it means that there will still be 60 items. There will, 60 be, there will still be 60 multiple choice questions. If there is still 60 multiple choice questions, it therefore tells us that a lot wouldn't change. And if it does change, it wouldn't change by much. That's my take on that first up. We're seeing, we seeing biology remaining at six at one hour and 15 minutes. Agriculture remaining the same. Nothing here has really changed. Nothing has changed. All right, let's take a break now. Where are you guys from? Tell me. Drop it in the comment section. Let me know where you're from. And has your country embarked on a national lockdown? Is there a curfew? Is there a national curfew? Are we taking COVID-19 seriously? Let me know what we are doing in the different aspects of the Caribbean. I know in Guyana we have a national curfew and basically a lockdown. Uh, I'm not sure Trinidad has done that as yet. I think Barbados has already done that. But what are we doing in terms of COVID-19? You see, if we do have a lockdown, it means we are going to prevent people gathering. And if we prevent people gathering, we are more than likely going to prevent the spread of COVID-19. So that is why a lockdown might be important if you are wondering. So let me know what you're doing in the different aspects, different parts of the Caribbean. Oh yes, so I'm currently doing registration for Integrated Science, English A, and English B crash course. So go ahead and hit me up if you are interested in those. Send me an email. The email will be in the description. Send me an email of your interest and I'll send you the relevant information that you may need. All right, those classes are starting and you're missing them if you don't register. So go ahead and register. Send me an email and let's get that off the road. So let's go back into looking at more of this CXC draft timetable. Next up, uh, you can decipher that. Human and social biology, because it does not have an SBA component, they are forced to include that paper too. So that remains 
and they are scheduling that to be written on the 29th of June. Uh, Integrated science remaining one hour and 15 minutes, so that doesn't seem to be changing either. It will be the same 60 items. Math remaining at one hour and 30 minutes. I don't know um, how adequate an assessment will be for one hour and 30 minutes for subject like math. But look at it this way. If the questions remain the same as the questions have always been, it's a free year. <laughs> it's a free year. And let's celebrate that freeness, I guess. OA remain the same. Nothing here again has changed. And finally, final page here, we have things like physics remaining the same, accounts remaining the same, business remaining the same, social studies again, same. So all of these time, because the timings remain the same, it tells us that CXC is not going to deviate from the 60 multiple choice questions. So are they going to have the same 60 multiple choice questions that we have seen over the years? The same pattern, some of the same questions, the exact questions? We can't tell. But we can predict that it will more than likely be the same. We can predict. All right? But at least we can decipher now for a fact that it is going to be 60 questions. Some persons were trying to say that it might be 100 questions. No, this time the CXC has given here cannot possibly be 100 questions. It will be 60 questions. And if it's 60 questions now, uh, if it's 60 and we've had 60 in the past, it's left for us to think that the 60 might actually be 60 that we would have done before. Anyway, don't take that away as gospel. Still prepare adequately for your exams. If I am to register my discontent with the Caribbean Examination Council, it will be on this basis. The fact that we are left, when I say we, the stakeholders, the students, the teachers, we are left to try and predict CXE. We are not told that, okay, it will be X, Y, Z. We have to try and figure it out. And that's bad. We have to try and guess, more or less, what is going to come, uh, how it's going to be, how many questions they're going to have. We are trying to guess all of these things when these are the things that CXC should be telling us. So I'm taking a jab at them, and I hope they don't come for me, but it's... It's unprofessional, to say the least. They need to be more proactive. They need to be more proactive. They need to communicate. They need to engage their stakeholders. And when things are not going as planned, when people voice opinions that they think are going to create problems, CXC should try to meet them halfway. CXC should try to communicate and fix issues before it's actually brought out. CXC indicated that all of these multiple choice questions are going to be done online. How feasible is that? I cannot say. Where are these students going to be? Are they going to do these exams from home? Are they going to do these exams in the school lab? How many computers are there in the school lab? Can each student be on the computer the exact time? All of these things we do not really know. Is COVID-19 going to extend beyond July? which it looks like it might if we can't get the control of it soon. All these things are to be considered. And CXC, again, is making somewhat a uh, one-sided decision, not engaging the stakeholders whatsoever. Anyway, guys, that's it, me, me updating you. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the schedule. Let me know what you can guess about the format if it's going to be the same that we have seen over the years or you think the questions are going to be different it will be multiple choice questions but i'm not sure what exactly will those questions be is it the traditional multiple choice that we know and love <laughs> or will it be first time kind of questions First time kind of questions. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all the time we have today. See you some other time. 
take care of yourself and keep preparing for your exams. Remember, CXC is just one thing that you need to move on and to live a decent life. So despite the formal it takes, just go ahead and enjoy the exams and move on with your life. Oh,